What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Let Dirt Fly YouTube channel. So if you found yourself here because you clicked on a video that was CF Moto K&M, Polaris related, mud yeah, riding, probably. anything yeah. like that, please consider subscribing right now. Also, after this video, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and of course like the video because it really helps us out. And without further ado, let's get into today's action. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Let Dirt Fly YouTube channel. What do we got going on today, Seth? Well, if you guys already follow us, um, you might have seen Marshall's quad being put, six, a, put six. away by tractor with maybe, what, no rear end on it? Nothing in it, basically. So, <laughs> so, so I thought I'd fill you guys in real quick on that. Um, so basically, I got extended trailing arms for my quad. As you guys might know, I got some 31 inch tires for my quad recently and they rub a little bit. So I was trying to bring the um, swing arms back a little bit to give me more clearance. But I um, had a problem with the bearing, bearings trying to fit into them. So you guys might see those again soon, but I got my quad all back to stock basically. So I can at least ride it in the meantime. Yes. And um, might have these um, new trailing arms in for Tall Pines, don't know yet. We will be at Tall Pines August 6th, 7th and 8th. Yes. Coming home so, the 8th, technically, so it's yes. going to be a half a ride day. In the meantime, though, until we go to Tall Pines, we got to test our machines out make sure they're ready to go. So we got to ride some mud. So right now, we're just going to strap the helmets on, get you guys on the trail. Let's do this. All right, folks, we are back in action. It's been a couple weeks. I apologize. I'll take the fault for that because I was on vacation for a week, personal vacation, not quad vacation. Uh, but and, I'm, and then he broke his quad for I another week. It. <laughs> yeah, then I, yeah, then I decided, well, I got parts in for my trailing arms, decided to go do it, and then stuff broke, and things happened, and yeah, it just did not go to plan. But we are here now, we're going to get some riding in for you guys today, because probably the video after this, I'm not 100% sure, but it probably might be might the be tall pines. pines. It might be tall pines, yeah. So, make sure you guys come out and hang out with us up there, because it's going to be fun. Hell yeah. Gotta watch the backpacks on me, so go slow to it. Not too bad. A little bulky today. All right, guys. So we're just spotting out some stuff here. Seeing how everything looks, there's the bounty hole. Well, we call it our bounty hole because uh, either we suck really bad or that hole's really bad. So, this is kind of nasty today. Wow, that's way deeper than normal. It's pretty mucky today, too. Yeah. this for a second because I want to go check out the dip I guess we what are we gonna call it the death pit or death hole I don't know that's where I spawn my quad yeah let's see how deep it is don't know if I'll do it today or not 
same snorkel down, so I feel like my quad would be perfectly fine, but still so sketchy. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at this real quick and, uh, are you, oh, you're coming down the street. Yeah. Shoot. I am blocking you to get out. And I'm stuck. In gear. There we go. Easy there, homeboy. So what are you going to do? Are you going to come out or... Huh? I'm going to walk. I'm going to wait her out. Oh, come quick. on. You've done that already. I'm, I just want to see how deep it is today compared to the other day. You said it's a little lower. Creep your machine a little bit. Let's see. Oh, my God. Come on. You're... Yeah, let's just start off the video by swamping Marshall's machine. Although that would get a lot of views. It didn't the last time. I'm no surprised. <laughs> yeah, go watch that video, guys. Um, yeah. I oh. didn't swamp swamp it, but oh. kind of sort of. Oh, here. So this... This is where it's really bad. This is where she. It's like a half inch above your belt, maybe a half little bit inch. more. Like six well, inches. It's not six inches above your belt. Well, see? If I can get out, I'm trying to find yeah. the ledge. All right. Marshall's swamping his quad today. No, you're not going to swamp your quad. I have to like, ride the log if I decide to go all the way. The fun part is just finding a spot to turn around. Yeah, a little bit. Well, you can always go into the watery area. It's a water area. You got tons of room. I actually had a lot of room. I had tons of room. It, bit, it went over the fenders, but not much. I don't even know if the uh, left side went under the fender. Let me find that ledge real quick, so I know where to... Uh, yeah. No, uh, so the front tire doesn't drop off. It's right here. <laughs> Swamp set stuff right before a ride. <laughs> yeah. I don't, people probably don't realize, like, they're probably like, dude, this was like the easiest hole ever. They don't realize what happened and how that, yeah. like, affected my brain. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go back and watch that. I know. Well, yeah, dude, it's well, freaking nothing like seeing your $10,000 quad, this handlebars out of the water, not running. Yeah. That, that hurt that, a little bit. That was bad. That was bad. I think you'd be fine. I do. I did it when it was deep, like this deep, with my stock snorkel, and then my belt got wet, and stole my quad and made it die in the water. But you know, we're gonna forget that part. Your intake should be fine, though. <laughs> your, your intake will be fine. <laughs> right now, we're probably gonna head that direction. Hit a hole over there. It's pretty easy. But then we might play in a spot you guys haven't seen in a while. So we'll play with that. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, since you're conquering fears, instead of turning out right here, why don't you go straight? Upstream. Thank you. <laughs> I know how deep that is. That's really deep right now. You just water wheelie right across. Not only that, it's like freaking this like sand bottom over there. Oh, that is that is right over your waders. Easily. It's Plus. like six foot deep right there. That's this is high right now. When I did that, that was it was like low here. Like you can see the rocks in the stream. Like that over here. Oh dude, there's a freaking little ducky. There's a duck? Yeah, a little ducky. Right right here, that's probably eight that, feet. I'm gonna I don't guess. know if it's eight feet. I don't think it's that deep. Well, if we come out here in shorts one day, we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> well, this not wasn't ever our hardest. Oh no, this used to be our, one of our hardest. This used to be bad here, now it's just like watery and... 
Oh, we still have that death pit that we've never made it through. Oh. Uh oh, Rorge. Okay. There's a gear. Son of a. Come on. Oh. Where the hell did you leave that? Over by the D spot. All right. You damn near almost ran it over when you came back through. We both did. All right, we're turning around to go get the camera. <laughs> That mud is right there is nasty. It's a ledge. These tires freaking eat, I'll tell you that. So the XMs. You're trying to get me. This is so trenched. I'm trying to get up on the rut and I can't. What are you trying to do? Get up on top of it? I was. Good luck. They're deep. Uh, stuck. You're stuck? <laughs> well, I bought them now. Really? And there's a massive rock right there, yeah. My quad still sits lower than yours, dude. Does it? I well, figured with the 31s it'd be at least my height, if not higher. No, with the suspension. There you go. Softer, so it like soaks everything up more. Yeah, believe me, I would kind of like that. You, you would kind of like it. Um, my quad's a little rough. <laughs> hey, right, you going in? Don't swamp her. I guess it's a lots camera. of fish. Fish. I don't know how far I'm actually going to go in here. I was going to tiptoe in. Hey, it's fine. She's deep, so don't blame you. So this isn't too bad. It's around the corner there. It gets pretty gnarly. It's probably... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. Ah. Right. Yeah, around the corner is gonna get deep, dude. So be prepared to get the front end up. Yep. I'm riding on the ground right now. Not floating. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Mine is a little bit more tall than yours. I think I'll be a hey, okay. If you just come in and spin tires, that might screw me. I'll go easy to this first section. tree I just went over without even realizing go that way I'm pointing you that way do Woo. what I tell you darn it Oh, the grass is going to be real. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's a big tree right there. See it? Yeah. I haven't covered it. I didn't realize it was there. Oh, yeah. Go 
GoPro action. Unless we finally take the 9 out for the, uh, or not the 9, the Sony. are completely packed. Sweet. Dude, what does mine say? What? Oh, you don't even get that reference. God damn it, you're so young. The fox say? Dude, what does mine say? Sweet, what does mine say? You don't remember that? Not at all. All right, guys, so we just got to the swamp here. Kind of just doing a normal round around the house here today. We're just test out the quads, I'm mostly testing mine and make sure I put it back together, right? But um, right now, uh, Seth's just gonna go through one, the, kind of the opposite, not the opposite direction, but um, maybe possibly, hopefully a little bit harder of a direction for him with the 850. Hopefully harder, so this way he actually fails at something. It'd be cool. But um, the mud is pretty nasty today. It's, it's, it's weird, we still have a lot of water here um, for this time of year, but the mud that's underneath the water is very thick. Like my quad is bogging a little today. Not bad though, but right now we're gonna see how Seth makes it through this little section. All right, so Marshall wants me to go through this here because he struggled with it a little bit last week. It seems to be a little tougher. Alright guys, so I'm not going to lie, uh, this little trench here, you know, this bad boy, pretty good. I mean, once I turned my uh, wheels into the rut, it grabbed no problem, but I was just kind of sitting in the rut, having a little fun. So, Marshall is about to uh, hit this little deep section right here. Alright folks, this is going to be a little thick today. And then the dreaded log. <laughs> Good, thank God for goggles. Hey, when you go to go across that log, stay way to the right. Yeah, no, you got the little bump there. Get some! Wow, it's thick. See if we get a splash this time. So, when I went through the first time, I didn't want to get the camera dirty because you were right there. Yeah. And I pinned it the last second, and it is like. Fun and sank. Oh. I was like, go that way, not down. All right. Well, let's take a seat. Go that, or are going to go race for the swamp? Oh, I'll probably just go through the swamp. All right, folks. So I just went through this hole real quick here. Um, did what's called the clean out run that we do. So basically, the mud gets super thick from sitting uh, when we don't ride it, and it gets thick to the point where it's almost impossible to go through. So at least one of us go, usually goes through, clears most of the super thick stuff out. It makes it this way. It's actually actually fun because otherwise it's sitting there getting stuck and winching. Not a good time. So right now Seth's gonna go ahead through and uh, let's see how the 850 gets on. All right, let's see. All right, baby. Here we go. Holy 
Holy God, that almost hit me. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter, big brother? Complaining I dug holes. It's all fair game, man. I like how our quads are now lower than the actual, like, old level of what this actually used to be. That's how deep that hole is now. Thick or something? Who's thick over here? Yeah, that's why I just went through. What's that? That's why I just went through with mine. You didn't go through this. Well, it's the same same mud. This is this mud. Oh, please. Here we go. you guys but that looks like a whole lot of 850 getting stuck oh we actually made it out look at that oh oh he's blasted himself you can feel the power in that thing <laughs> feel it from here Alright, I guess I'll uh, line up for something with the 650. I don't know what. What if I just hit it, it this way? Super nasty right now. That spot there? That? Really bad. Oh, I think I can make it with the 650. I'm gonna find out right now. Yeah, Alright, gotta get myself back over to the starting point for that hole so I can see how I make it through. That's a stick. Alright, let's see here. I was trying to get you to hold on. Huh? I was telling you to hold on. It's oh, okay. Did you get anyway? Uh, not really. <laughs> I kept saying hold on. <laughs> I could be. I can't hear you. Starting to get trenching. All right, so this is my actual mud run pass. Yes. So the other one where I was just getting stuck the whole time. I can't even put my foot down. There's you should time right lapse. Here. That last one, the first one. <laughs> Do you not like me making ruts? All right guys, just made it back to the house here. We had a bunch of fun today. Um, on the way back though, Seth got a little misfire on his quad. Um, again? Yeah, again, we don't know why it's happening where it just drops out one cylinder. We're gonna try throwing some uh, fuel injector clean in there because he already did some spark plugs. Yeah, so if you guys, spark plugs last week, so. Yep, so everything's dielectric east. Um, so if you guys have some, um, thoughts. Call, some thoughts on what it could be besides spark plugs, fuel injectors plugging up, let us know because it's dropping out one cylinder. We don't know why. And to, we have to fix it for tall pines because, uh, well, tall pines is coming up next Friday. And what are we going to do on, uh, at tall pines, dude? We are going to run the crap out of these things. We're going to mud it. We're going to hit it. We're going to send it. So 
send down some trails too, and we are gonna meet you guys too. So um, some of us, are, some of you guys already uh, message us and let us know you're coming. If you are coming and and whatnot, just let us message us on Facebook or Instagram, and um, this way we can schedule a good uh, meetup time and everything for you guys. Um, but with that. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. We really appreciate all your guys' support. And then, Seth, where can they find us in this day and age? <laughs> you can find us on the internet. It's that weird thing. It's on your phone. It's on your computer. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok. So make sure you come check us out, you know? Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Give us all that good stuff. That's right. All right. But we will just have to catch you guys next time at Tall Pines. On Let Their Fly. Have you forgotten where you were?